Okay, here we have a flip down TV lift from the ceiling. Now in this case, there is a, a roughly a 10 inches drop here where to install this whole thing. We have the 55 inch TV. We're using a Forget It Automation's 400 pound linear actuator with a nine inch stroke. We're also using a tension type gas spring to help pull it up as well. Uh, remote control like this, a power supply, a couple of brackets, and all that costs about $400 for the entire mechanism plus whatever the TV is, and some labor. It's very simple, you press the down button to lift the TV down. Now notice here, the TV automatically stopped when it got to the end, and that's because the actuators that we use have built-in limit switches at either end. So even if I keep pressing the down button, nothing happens. And the same goes for the up. automatically stops. Even if I keep pressing the up button, nothing happens, which is perfect. It's a safety issue and uh, it's very simple to do. Now, what we want to do now is take a look inside of the mechanism, which you can't see when the TV is down, but we want to take a look and see how it's installed and how it's put together, and this is, which is actually very simple to do. First, we're going to lift the TV down. Okay, here we have the actuator, which you can see behind the mechanism. There's two MB3 brackets here installed to attach this to the ceiling. We have a pull type gas spring here, which is also attached with a bracket at the end there, which assists in pulling the TV back as it's lifting it. And then at this end, which you can't really see, is attached to the back of the TV mechanism. And um, here you can see, sort of, and that's what provides the pulling motion.